नमस्ते माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश अटनकर फ्रॉम इंडिया रिप्रेजेंटिंग ब्रिक्स हेल्थ यूनिवर्सिटी इन रशिया इन आवर सिंपोजियम इंटरनेशनल सिंपोजियम ऑफ स्पेशल हेल्थ सेविंग टेक्नोलॉजीज इन ब्रिक्स कंट्रीज टुडे आई एम रिप्रेजेंटिंग आयुर्वेदा माय डियर फ्रेंड्स व्हाट इज आयुर्वेदा Ayurveda simply means the science of life. Here we can get the knowledge about our life. So what is life according to Ayurveda? Life is like energy. As you all know, energy cannot be created nor be destroyed. It just converted into one form. to another form like same in ayurveda life cannot be created nor be destroyed it will be just converted from one form to another form so today we have to learn about our ancient sciences and modern technology how we can integrate it how we can integrate the modern medicine with ayurveda so what is modern what you think what is modern is serving anything with some modern technologies is called modern or making something palatable to the patient is called modern so we have to think about different steps for the integration first step can we integrate the modern education system with ancient learning systems of ayurveda second we have to think about the integration of preparation of drug the modern drug preparation systems and ancient drug preparation systems and third thing we have to think about the route of drug administration the modern route of drug administrations and ancient route of drug administrations and fourth one we have to think about the palatability it means the formation of drug either in tablet form in capsule form or in injection form how we can integrate ayurveda drugs into the modern medicine system today in india also we are giving different types of ayurveda medicines via different forms so basically to understand this we have to understand about the principles of ayurveda the basic principles of ayurveda are common everywhere it's common in whole world it's common in all brics countries it's common everywhere for example what is the basic nature of human being when we are thirsty we want water to drink when we are hungry we want food to eat when we feel sleepy we want to sleep these are the basic principles of human being we are just providing the ancient water in modern bottle and we are saying that oh now you are Uh, uh very thirsty take our specially oxygenated water and be oxygenated so it's not integration integration means conceptual integration making oxygenation of water in any big plant chemical plant doesn't making it modern drinking the water from any breeze is real water you will feel more happy by drinking the water from the natural resources and if we want to give the same water to the today's people in different format then we have to think about how we can provide the same natural water the same himalayan water to 
anyone in any country with the same format without adding anything into that. The same way today I want to open some different meanings, some different aspects of integration in front of you. Nowadays what is happening? We are thinking about vitamin C and we are serving that vitamin C from chemically produced plants. But do you know Ayurveda says if you take vitamin C from Amla then your hair, your hair will grow much better. Your skin will shine. But if you just change the source of vitamin C from Avla to lemon or any citrus then you will see the changing the source of vitamin C itself changes the guna. If you take vitamin C from Avla your hair will grow. If you take vitamin C from lemon this will be the cause of your hair fall taking this continuously six month. It's interesting, yes, because the source of vitamin C matters according to Ayurveda. Every plant is different, every source is different. So vitamin, protein, carbohydrates, the classification system of Ayurveda is different and modern medicine is different. For example, if any young Russian a strong boy going to gymnasium and if he is thinking about the source of protein for himself and if he is taking the protein from any lentils, okay, then you have to think about the prakriti of that young boy also as well as you have to think about the prakriti of your source of food because some lentils may increase vata, some lentils may increase pitta and some lentils may increase kapha. But if there is no classification of vata, pitta and kapha then for you all the lentils are just the source of protein. It's not like that. Ayurveda always gives you customized approach of everything. That's why we have to think about the integration in field of education first. Okay, so while, while learning, we should integrate these two sciences and we should tell the people that vitamin, proteins, calories, carbohydrates, fats are just a classification and this classification gives you the rough information about one product. At the same time, Vata, Pitta, Kapha is one of the best ancient classification to understand the same product. If you are from chemistry background, if you are from physics background or if you are from any other biological background, then how you will classify the water? The person who is from chemistry background, he will say that water is just H2O. He will tell you the chemical composition of water. The person from physics background will give you the information about the surface tension of water or other things. And the person from the biological background will give you how many water resources are there and how the uh, animal or plant uh, how bio uh, medically use that water to their body. But looking at the water from the physics, chemistry, biology backgrounds is giving us just uh, additional information about that water. The same way extract of curcumin from any uh, Haridra, we say always. So, its extract is not a modern medicine. But we are thinking the extract of curcumin or extract of any serpentine from the serpaganda is becoming a modern drug. 
Ayurveda says giving that drug in whole format with understanding of Prakriti is the basic concept. So as I told you we have to think about the four types of integration out of which in first type we have to think about the learning integration. So we should start the education integration first. With that integration all the scholars of medical science will learn about the classification of Vata Pitta Kapha, the classification of other resources, classification of the same thing from different pathy. Then secondly, we have to think about the integration in terms of drug formation. So in modern science nowadays, we can give a drug in tablet format, we can give a drug in extract format, we can give a drug in capsule format. In Ayurveda, do you know, we can give the drug in oil format, in gruta format or asava, arishta, kwatha, churna, guti, vati, fanta. There are too many formats. Not only this, Ayurveda have different routes of drug administrations. So, for the same patient, we can utilize the different routes of drug administration. So, we have to think about those routes of drug administration. We can give simply Ayurvedic medicines with modern route of drug administration too. So, this is one another classical example for the integration of modern medicine with Ayurveda for the root of drug administration. So we can integrate in education, we can integrate in formation of medicine, we can integrate in root of drug administration and for your information nowadays in India we are doing all these three possible integrations in our clinics. Also, we are integrating the diagnostic machines utilizing the different modern machines for our ancient Ayurvedic diagnosis, a new aspect. At the same time, utilizing the different modern machines for the treatment of ancient Ayurvedic sciences is a different aspect. So, we can integrate in different type of diagnostic tools. We can integrate in different types of treatment modules and nowadays in our clinic too, we are doing too many beauty treatments, cosmetic treatments, treatments in field of like um, cancer, in uh, liver problems, in heart diseases or uh, you can say any part from your body, you can use modern diagnostic tools for your ancient diagnosis and modern machines for the treatment values. With these two things, you can do a diagnostic value addition and treatment value addition via utilizing the instrumentation and visualization based techniques of modern era. Nowadays, we are talking with each other on ancient Ayurveda with modern technology. This is called integration. Till I am in India talking on my own Indian philosophy with hardcore Ayurveda but by utilizing the modern technique with the help of camera, with the help of this audio video presentation, this is called integration. We have to integrate for the machines only, not for the core concepts. It means Ayurvedic diagnosis, you should start the Ayurvedic treatment by doing the Ayurvedic diagnosis only. If you are diagnosing the disease with modern science, then you have to give the modern treatments as well. But you can utilize the modern machines, modern tools, for your enhancing Ayurvedic diagnosis. 
making the allopathic diagnosis and giving the ayurvedic medicines is not a integration according to me integration means you should integrate in some different aspect in some different core concepts in some educational drug delivery uh, route of drug administration and as we have told now in forms of different types of treatments so my dear friends ayurveda always says there are three things tatva shastra and vyavahar so tatva is common that is similar for everywhere in every science shastra will give you a frame a vision to see something with that vision you will elaborate your science and vyavahar is different like if i am coming to russia the welcome will be with different ways if i am going to london or america or any other country of uh, this universe then my welcome will be different vyavahar is always different at different places and that's why ayurveda gives you a unique approach of 11 things dushyam desham balam kalam analam prakrutim vayaha satvam satmyam tatha aharam avasthascha prutak vidaha with this concepts ayurveda says purusham purusham viksha that is the treatment differs with the person specific modules so we have to think the person specific modules before making a plan of treatment for anyone we have to think as our prime minister mr narendra modi ji says local for vocal so we have to think about the local hubs in russia we can use the russian hubs to treat the russian people the same way in any country the people should think about their local hubs to treat yourself this is the best technology because local things are made for ourselves so we should always think for local things for our body because all these things are belongs to dushya desha bala kala according to ayurveda the things are made for you only whenever i travel across the globe people ask me which diet we should follow and we always says eat your grandmother's diet only so all my dear friends it doesn't matter in which country you are but it matters which type of food you are going to follow which type of science you are going to follow and we have to follow our grandmother's diet we have to follow our grandmother's science to make us healthy you can use the modern machines modern technology to be healthy but you have to think your old science old thinking process and old type of food whatever your grandmother is serving you that is good for your health so everything which is modern and everything which is ancient just choose wisely whatever the best in between these integrate those two things and live a longer life the basic principle of ayurveda is dirgham jivitiyam it means that you have to live a long life happy life without disease to achieve the common goal of every person to achieve the common goal of every country to give a healthy prosperous and happy life to every human being then we have to use we have to choose whatever is the best from each and every pathy so nowadays in india we are running a concept of dna that is d n y a h a that is diet naturopathy yoga ayurveda allopathy and homeopathy we are integrating all these systems for happy healthy and long life so i wish all of you a happy healthy and long life
थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू मिस स्वेतलाना फॉर गिविंग मी चांस टू रिप्रेजेंट एज अ प्रोफेसर एंड एम्बेसडर ऑफ ब्रिक्स आयुर्वेदा हेल्थ यूनिवर्सिटी एंड टू रिप्रेजेंटिंग द आयुर्वेदा ओवर हियर फ्रॉम इंडिया इन ब्रिक्स 2024. थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच